on, Daisy. <laughs> Meh. Good girl, Daisy. She's not your one, is she, sugar? Where are your two? <laughs> Come on, Daisy. Oh, you're going wee wees. Good girl. Come on in. What is it, Mary? Is this the baby you you lost? Hey? Hmm. And that is why we are hand feeding you, eh? She mean, eh? She was supposed to be your mummy, but she didn't realise she had two babies. No, lucky you're a little happy thing, aren't ya? Good morning and welcome back to Stepping Stone Farm. I'm Jade. Oh my goodness, we've got news. We've got amazing news, like big news. Huge, huge news. So before we get into that, let's do a quick goat update. Hey sugar, how you doing? So if you haven't already, I would suggest you go back and watch our latest video which is sugar and mary having babies this is vanilla since then vanilla has also had her baby hey vanilla she had a little boy emu we'll go meet him in a second and there's mary now miss mary what happened hey what happened with you madam so mary we thought she only had one baby um she actually had two so we found the second one we searched everywhere on the day, just to be clear, and then um, the second day we came here and I randomly saw this baby wandering around in the paddock and it had been by itself all night tucked up somewhere in the paddock and um, we tried to get her to accept it, to take it back, but she wouldn't. She was convinced that she only had one baby and there is her baby. So. She um, is doing great, her, we called her Lamb, but her new owners have called her Ruby, so she's been sold already, she's not going to go until she's fully weaned, but she actually broke her leg. So her splint has just been taken off, and you can see that back left leg she's kind of favouring, but she's doing really well and it's nowhere near as bad as it was. This is Mary's other little baby. Daisy. Hi Daisy Dukes. Daisy Dukes. Yes, this is the one that she would not accept back. And so, in case you can't tell who's got a baby that loves them this much, oh, she's bottle fed. Hey, so this little baby Daisy. Hey, you're a good girl. Yeah, it was Mary's second little girl. And um, you're still cute. Um, so we're bottle feeding her. But I, I will show you some more videos of that shortly. She's super strong, super great, thinks she's a dog, loves being in the house, so we pop a nappy on her, let her run around, but she absolutely loves it. Let's go have a look at the other babies. Where are you lot going? Come on. Come on, Daisy. Daisy, come on. Good girl. Come on. So she's now two weeks old and she is on um, four feeds a day. Here we have all the other babies. So these are all the babies that were born uh, Friday the 13th. And actually one, this little one right here, Emu, which is Vanilla's little baby boy. 
um, who was born just a couple days later. So we've got Hokey and Pokey, which are the two twins. Hello. Sugar's two girl twins. They've still got their umbilical cords. And then we've got Lamb, who's just as fast as the others. Now that her legs healed well. You need a butt clean, sugar. All right, so these babies, most of these babies are actually sold. Um, Ruby's being sold and Hokey and Pokey have gone. Emu and Vanilla, we've got people coming to look at them as a pair. Um, hey Vanilla, yes, you and your baby are getting, come, getting looked at today. Well, not today, um, this weekend, so in the next two days. And so they might go and be rehomed on a farm. We have a lot of babies running around. But I suppose you guys, do you guys want to hear the news? Do you want to hear our big news? All right, so our big news. Oh, look how cute this is. Um, no, oh, this, this, the goats are just too cute. Come on, Daisy, up here. Um, our big news is that, dun, 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 we've decided to sell the farm. I know, right? Heaps of people think we're crazy. Sometimes I think we're crazy. But this was always going to be a stepping stone. Um, we were going to build a house and live in it for a bit and then probably sell it. Um, but with prices of land around here at the moment, we make just as much money if we sell it now. So with, without the house. Um, so rather than investing in building a house, we're just going to sell it um, as it is. And we've got a price in mind. And if we achieve um, just over that, then, yeah, we would have made exactly um, or just as much as if we would have if we'd built the house and spent hundreds of thousands building this house. So we probably won't build, well, we're not going to build this house. The property goes on the market in two weeks' time. So the mad rush has started to get everything tidied up and basically ready for people to start wandering through the property which is a bit of a daunting task we've had a massive list of things to do in preparation what's on our list of things to do before we um, go live with selling the property we've had a couple of piles of dirt that have needed to be um, flattened out we um, had a whole pile of tires that we've built a retaining wall with um, that needed to be filled up with that dirt and with the um, mulch that we had um, so we've actually got the digger guy here now uh oh <laughs> we've got the digger guy here oh look you can see him over there so another job that we had him do is we had him go right down to our other entrance we have two entrances to this property and we've had him dig out that entrance way and put a new entrance in uh, Logan and I have to put a fence up this weekend along that new entrance way and plant some trees here comes our digger man whoop whoop so he's finished our entrance way down there that's exciting um, another job we have to do we have to get power to the shed so we have power at the gate and uh, <laughs> digger guy great digger guy he's an awesome digger guy by the way he is going to come and dig a trench now from um, our gate to our shed and the power guy was supposed to be here 20 minutes ago um, is going to put that power in so that's fantastic so we'll have power to the shed we'll have the property all nice and tidied up We've got a couple of little things. We're going to plant a couple of trees around the pond. I've already put into the pond a whole pile of lily pads. Um, and I think that's about it. Is that about it? We've done a big rubbish pickup, you know, where you just go around the whole farm and pick up all the bits and pieces. Sorry about the noise. Digger man is on his way back. And, um, and then we'll go from there. All right. I'll catch you up again once this guy's gone past.
camera. Look at that. You can drive up there. Woohoohoo! That's pretty cool. Just gonna flatten that out. So it's nice and tidy. That's gonna look awesome. Look over there, you can see. Izzy playing with Daisy, teaching her how to do the seesaw. So it's all go. Oh, one of the other jobs that we have to do is we have to connect um, the downpipe to that tank to fill it up so that it fills up from the roof. This is going to be great. We're getting so much done. Oh my goodness. So I'm just watching the digger man and waiting for the electrician. The other thing that's happening this afternoon is we're actually getting photos taken of the farm. So um, we've got the real estate guy, um, photo guy coming in and they're going to bring in a drone and do the big flyover photos. So it's going to be pretty cool too. And also really cool that we've got these jobs um, done before he gets here, which is nice. The sticker guy is doing an amazing job. He just like almost tapped the fence and bought it all off. So it's gonna be our power trench up to see. You watching the digger Ollie? <laughs> 